Now, you've been in a relationship for a while, so what's the key to a relationship? Because we're always talking about relationships. Oh, this is How is it? Definitely. Edge is sweating bad. Oh my god, you guys. I just ripped my pants. So, good morning, folks. So, I am heading to go to lunch in Hollywood. So, the light just turned green, so I'm gonna keep driving. in a while so you know you've been in a relationship for a while so what's the key to a relationship because we're always talking about relationships because you know I'm the single one and uh, <laughs> I'm not clearly according to her I'm not ready for commitment so what do you have to say honestly I'm still I'm still learning <laughs> but I think the biggest thing is communication because if you and your partner don't talk and you guys are not on the same page it's it's not gonna last <laughs> that long at all <laughs> anything else Trusting each other, uh -huh. yeah. Being honest, yeah. But communication is like the biggest mm -hmm. thing. So as long as you guys are communicating, everything else normally falls into line. So okay, do you have hope for me? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But we gotta find you someone who's on your level, okay? Who someone who matches your fly. So <sighs> yeah, CBK it was cool. So I'm about to head back and probably be old ladies and go to sleep. <laughs> I have lice too. So lately I've been addicted to ice and Cheez Its. I don't know why, but I just love ice and Cheez Its. Um, I am heading home. I am headed home. I just went to go look at the studio space in Studio City. My lipstick probably is all over the place. But yeah, I have work today, so now I am headed home. Still in the PT Cruiser. I really miss my Jeep. It's still getting fixed. I pray that it's going to be done by Friday, but if not, it should be early next week because they basically just have to... Um, just replace the whole back door. It's just always so much traffic in LA. Like, sometimes that, it, it's just ridiculous. Like, some days it's just like ridiculous. Like today it was ridiculous. Like, it was just out of hand. I need to travel again. I need to figure out where I'm going to next. When I get some extra money. God, adulting is so hard. Who? Why nobody didn't tell me it was this hard? Why? Why nobody tell me this? All right. Good morning, guys. So I am just leaving the bank to pay my rent. So the next stop is coffee. I am gonna get a coffee. Yesterday I got a refresher. So today I'm gonna get a coffee. So, I may be going out of town a little quick trip to Florida um, for a work trip. So, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I may fly out tomorrow. Also, my car is finished. Uh, I could have picked it up yesterday, but I had to drive to Long Beach for work. So, yeah. So I didn't pick it up, and so since I'm maybe going out of town, I'm probably not going to get it until Wednesday. Mm. So yesterday, I found out some, it's not bad news because I was expecting it, but 
it was kind of like, damn, like damn news. And so I kind of was just like, I'm so proud of myself because I didn't stress out about it. I didn't let it mess up my day, you know. Um, it were, it were, it's in regards of like um, one of my jobs. They are just going to stick with one person and not a whole bunch of people. Or they just may have fired me. I don't know. But uh, they let me go a little early because the program was supposed to end the end of August. But... They were making so many changes that it made sense to let me go, like from a business standpoint, because I wasn't available full time. Um, all the places I would go, they would either get canceled. So it just made it made sense from a business decision for them to let me go. And I felt that they were going to let me go. Like, I'm not even like bothered by it, because once again, I always think of things. I try to think of things from a business point of view and what makes sense and it made sense for them to let me go like it made completely good sense um I have been with them since like May and a lot of people had left the company so even the person that hired me she left so that also speaks for itself too um but yeah so I kind of am like you know how you, you're expecting a certain amount of money a month. Um, so, it's going to be a little tight. But it's not going to be tight because I'm not even going to speak that negative energy to me. But, yeah, basically, they let me go, but it made sense. So, I cannot complain. Oh, my God, you guys. I just ripped my pants, so I have to run into Walmart and hurry up and grab something and get to work. I can't believe I just ripped my pants. <laughs> I lift my leg up and was like, oh my God. And the crazy part is that these jeans aren't even tight. I guess I just pulled it wrong. But yeah, we're about to go into Walmart. <laughs> All right, folks, I just got home from work and now I have to pack my flight leaves at 6 a.m. so I have to be at the airport by 4 so wish me luck I know I'm gonna be mad tired look at this shit get out get out get out it's so bad so yeah I'm only gonna be out of town for a couple of days I am I don't know if I'm gonna post. I don't, I'm thinking like not to post this trip and just actually enjoy the trip instead of posting my every move. Kind of shock people, you know? So yeah, next time I see you, I'll be at the airport. to go downstairs and grab some breakfast um yeah it's a little bit of the room sorry it's like a mess and i'm working from over here so yeah let's see the view it's not much it's not much The time difference is kind of throwing me off, but let's go downstairs. So I just got my nails done. Oh my God, you guys, it's so hot. I haven't been to Florida since I was like 12. And I forgot how, how how hot it gets out here. It's not super, super bad, but it's definitely edge of sweating bad. So yeah, I'm walking back to the room. I just got my nails done. There's a mall right across the street, so I just walked over there. But I got orange. 
Whew. Good morning, guys. So I am doing my makeup and about to do my hair. I have this interview today in like 45 minutes. Uh, I'm so tired. I don't really rest yet. I'm pretty jet lagged, but what's in the... You guys already know, I'm about to half do my hair. The time difference is really starting to mess with me now. Just get back home, see my dog. Um, yeah, just excited to go home. You guys, we are back. I finally have my Jeep back. I'm so excited. I picked it up today. If you missed my previous vlogs, I got into an accident a while back. And sorry, my car is, a, is so junky. I'm about to go to work. Um, and I have to give some equipment back. Oh, yeah, so my car is mad junky right now. But it is, how many degrees is it right now? It's 115 degrees outside. It's mad hot. Um, so I'm getting ready to I'm getting ready to head to work. My trip to Florida was cool. This is a busy weekend for me. Um, I just got booked for this project. Um, so I have to do a lot of like writing, editing. So I'm super grateful about that. However, it's a lot of work. So just getting prepared for that. Let's see which way I'll take. Hold momentarily. <sighs> so I hadn't had coffee in a minute, and today I decided to get mad extra shots, and that was a fail. I'm like mad jittery. And yesterday my flight was delayed four hours. So I was at the airport all day. I was at three different airports all all day. I didn't get home until around one o'clock in the morning. And I am so tired. I'm off three hours of sleep and I'm just exhausted. I'm mad exhausted. But yeah, I'm about to head to work. I'm gonna turn this off and I'll see you guys shortly. So guys, I forgot my tripod, so bear with me. I don't have the most steady hand. So anyways, um, so I've been working for a new gig. I'll tell you guys more about it in the next vlog once everything goes smoothly today and tomorrow. Uh, prayers up that it will. It will. Um, I've been super overwhelmed. You know, I was out of town and then I got this position and then I had a deadline to meet. I was like up every day. And then also I'm still working with Stella Artois. And I actually had to learn how to engrave recently. So that was new to me. So I've been given a lot of challenges lately to where it's testing, you know, my ability to um, have more skill sets. I know a lot of times we tend to be comfortable where, where we're at or what we do. And so for me... When I was given this position, I was like, can I actually do this? <laughs> and so I did it, and um, that's all that matters. So, you know, I'm like, okay. Like, with the engraving thing, I was like, I originally was like, you know, um, I don't think I'll be able to engrave, but I challenged myself, and I was able to do it. So everything is mental, and always remember that. Try to challenge yourself at least every month, or, you know, try to challenge yourself to become a better you. And for me, it was just like, okay, I'm challenging myself to do better, um, to do more things that I've never done before. And so, I mean, I'm just... I'm overwhelmed, but everything has calmed down today. I worked out. Um, I'm going to be getting a trainer soon, so I'm super excited about that. I met this girl uh, for work, and then she was telling me about her gym. So I'm going to be training possibly soon with her. And I'm just excited for the remaining, yet the remaining months 
of this year. I'll be 25, November 17th. So I'm just trying to become a better me, slowly but surely. And um, yeah. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment below what kind of videos you want to see. I'm trying to revamp my channel to where I'm getting more views. I don't know if people are just not liking the vlogs or what. I'm not going to stop vlogging because I love just documenting my life and just seeing how much I've grown over the past two years I've been vlogging. So we shall see what another year may bring. And so yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. Bye guys.